Welcome to Job Form, how to get started with input masking in online forms. Now, I already have a form open, and what we're going to do is drag in a text element. So let's open up elements, drag in short text. We're going to click on properties, options. We're going to enable input mask, and we have three types of symbols available to allow the input masking. For example, we have the at symbol if we're only going to allow letters, hash if we're going to allow numbers, and asterisk if you want to allow both. Now let's work with some examples to show you why this is really useful. Now let's just say you want to ask for the phone number in this text, text element. We're going to add the three hashes right here. We're going to add a space, three more hashes, and four more. Now that would be the input hash for a phone number. Let's go into preview this form to show you this example. Now when we add this, now if I click on letters, type letters, it will not add anything. But if I add numbers, that will let them add no numbers. Now you can see if I type more numbers, it won't let you add any more. That's really useful. Now what if we want to use this for date? Okay, let's delete this. And what we're going to do is, for example, if we want the month, we'll have two hashes, fine, two more hashes, and the year, four more hashes. Okay, let's preview this one. And now we have this available, for example, January 1st, 1983, oops, 83, right? And that allows us to work with this and we can submit it. Another example could be if we want to mix numbers and letters. So for example, let's just say this is a ticketing service and this is a ticket question and you need to type in the question, the ticket right there. But basically all your tickets start with TK, okay? And the rest will be numbers. So let's space, Jeanette. the first one could be um, a letter or a number so let's do the asterisk then we'll do numbers and at the end it could be a number or letter depending on how we want to use this okay so let's go preview this and by default it's already added the tk so that maybe your tickets already start with that so in this case i can add a letter or a number in the beginning but the rest are only available numbers so if i try to type letters it won't let me add any it has to be numbers and at the end we can also allow numbers of letters so we can keep that one more example to finish off is we're going to do a mix of the three symbols so the at to only allow letters hash to allow only numbers and asterisk to only to allow both okay so let's go ahead and preview this form so we can type in letter but we cannot type numbers. So there's a letter. And then the next one is a hash. We can only type numbers. And at the end, we have both available numbers or letters. So it depends how you want to use this. And that is how you use the input masking on JotForm. Thank you for watching.